masih lagi chapter yang sama iaitu atoms, molecules and stoichiometry but this one is the last part is part 4 ok, jadi sebelum ni kita dah belajar tentang uh, isotop, mass spectrometry ok, macam mana nak kira relative abundance ok, kemudian nak kira dia punya uh, mass over charge ok uh, but now we look at part 4 so in this part 4 we gonna look about uh, the number of moles okay here is the mole and Avogadro's constant a mole is an amount of substance that contains as many particles as the number of atoms in exactly 12 gram of carbon 12 Okay, for example, one pair is equal to two items. Okay, dalam satu pasang kasut ada dua items. Okay, uh, next example, we have one dozen. So, one dozen is equal to 12 items. So, in one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 power of 23 particles. For example, 1 mole of sugar is equal to 6.02 times 10 power of 23 of sugar molecules. Okay, next we have element. Okay, element of copper. So, in 1 mole of copper, okay, we have 6.02 times 10 power of 23 of copper particles. And is equal to 6.02 times 10 power of 23 of copper atoms. Next example, we have molecule that is carbon dioxide. So in carbon dioxide, we have one carbon and two oxygen. So in one mole of carbon dioxide, is equal to 6.02 times 10 power of 23 of carbon dioxide molecules okay is equal to 6.02 times 10 power of 23 of carbon atoms and is equal to 2 times 6.02 times 10 power of 23 of oxygen atoms okay untuk oxygen atom kita kena darab dengan 2 okay ha ni untuk oxygen atom because in carbon dioxide molecule kita ada satu carbon and dua oxygen atom okay next ionic compound okay we have salt sodium chloride ataupun uh, natrium chlorida so in sodium chloride okay one mole of sodium chloride is equal to 6.02 times 10 power of 23 of sodium chloride particles okay is equal to 6.02 times 10 power of 23 okay of sodium ion is equal to 6.02 times 10 power of 23 of chloride ions and equal to 2 times 6.02 times 10 power of 23 of ions. Okay, jadi yang last sekali kita darabkan dengan 2 sebab ion ni dia ada 2. Satu sodium ion, satu lagi chloride ion. Okay, kalau dia tak spesifik, so kita gabungkan ada 2 Ion, so darab dengan dua lah. So untuk number of mol satu mol sama dengan Avogadro constant. Okay, tak kira lah untuk particles, atom, molecules and ions. So Avogadro's number, okay, is equal to 6.02 times 10 power of 23. Okay, the Avogadro constant and A is defined. As the number of particles in one mole of a substance. Okay, the symbol of Avogadro's number is N A. Okay, and chemists use the Avogadro's number to define mole. 
Okey, jadi kita akan gunakan Avogadro's number to define mole. Okey, ini relationship between the number of moles with a volume of gases, number of particles and mass of substances. Okey. So, ini adalah conversion ya. Kalau daripada number of mole nak tukar kepada number of particles, okey, kita darab dengan uh, Avogadro constant, okey. Uh, dan sebaliknya. Okey. Kemudian kalau untuk tukar kepada mass of substance, okay, kita darab dengan A R O M R, okay, uh, iaitu relative atomic mass or relative molecular mass, or sometimes we call it molar mass, okay. Uh, jadi molar mass tu dia boleh jadi relative atomic mass ataupun relative molecular mass, okay. Uh, kalau daripada number of mole nak tukar kepada volume of gases kita darab dengan molar volume okey uh, yang 22.4 24 okey depends on stp standard temperature or pressure and pressure ataupun uh, in room condition okey Okay, concentration of a solution measured in mole per dm cube is known as molarity. Okay, we have number of moles n, the symbol is n, is equal to mb over 1000. So, m is the molarity and v is the volume. Okay. Uh, where M molarity of solution molarity of solution mesti dalam unit mole per dm cube and V volume okay in uh, unit cm cube okay so N equal to mv per thousand okay there are two units used in the concentration of a solution first we have gram per dm cube that is mass of solute in gram over volume of solution in dm cube and another one we have mole per dm cube is the number of mole of solute in mole over volume of solution in unit dm cube okay jadi ada dua dan uh, biasa yang kita gunakan the common yang uh, we use is mole per dm cube okay next uh, we have question here stpm 2017 okay so the num the nuclear number of n isotope of element x is 64 the isotope has 34 neutrons okay calculate the number of protons in x okay so uh, soalan ini uh, dia nak number of proton So kita tahu nuclear number is the total number of uh, protons and neutrons So the answer here uh, 64 minus 34 is equal to 30 Okay the cat ion derived from X has 28 electrons Okay write the symbol for the cat ion okay jadi kita ada cat ion uh, bilangan elektron dia ialah 28 okey uh, tadi uh, proton dia 30 so 30 tolak 28 okey means dia uh, kurang 2 elektron okey maksudnya dia dah release 2 elektron okey bila release 2 elektron it become a cat ion positive charge okay dekat sini soalan kata write the symbol okay for the cat ion so symbol dia sekarang kita ada x element dia kemudian cat ion the release two electron so two positive okay the charge is two positive okay 
Okay, the mass spectrum of element X is shown below. Okay, determine the relative atomic mass of S. Okay, cara nak kira relative atomic mass, kita gunakan formula. Okay, formula dia. Uh, 100 times 64 plus um, 66 uh, times uh, 56 plus 8 times 67 plus 38 times 68 okay over 100 plus 56 plus 8 plus 38 okay okay jadi cuba kirakan berapa dia punya uh, relative atomic mass Okay, already get the answer. Okay, the answer is 65.43. Okay, that is the relative atomic mass of X. Okay, an impure sample of X is treated with an excess of sulfuric acid. Write a balanced equation for the reaction. Okay, jadi kita tahu X tadi ialah kumpulan 2 Sebab dia punya charge ialah positif 2 So, kumpulan 2 dalam bentuk metal Atom Plus sulfuric acid So, produce XSO4 plus H2 Okay, tindak balas Metal and salt produce so, uh, Sorry Metal and sulfuric acid produce salt and Hydrogen gas. Okay, if 0 0.0764 gram of hydrogen is obtained from a sample from a sample of 3.86 gram, calculate the percentage purity of the sample. Okay, let's say uh, if we have 65, okay, 0.4 gram of X, okay, they can produce. 2 gram of hydrogen gas. So, uh, what is the mass of X to produce 0 0.0764 gram of hydrogen? So, mass of X here is equal to 0 0.0764 times 65.4 over 2. Okay, is equal to uh, 2.50 gram. Okay, ini mass of X. Okay, yang digunakan. Kita nak kira pula dia punya percentage purity. So, daripada 2.5 over 3.86 times 100. So, equal to 64.8%. Okay, so the percentage purity of the sample is equal to 64.8%. Okay. Okay, that's all for chapter 1. Jadi kita dah habis keseluruhan chapter 1 for semester 1. Okay, see you in the new chapter. Okay, in the next video. Okay, bye.